Hi everyone! I hope you enjoyed my listening and visual game. If you missed it, I'll put a link to the video in the description below for you. Are you ready for my second activity? I'm going to teach you some fun facts about the circus. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. In my music audio story, Billy Joins the Circus, you met a monkey called Billy and he wanted to join the circus. Did you know that the first circus in London was in 1768? That's a long time ago. A man called Philip Astley was the first person to bring all the elements of the circus together. So what are these elements? Well, most circuses have a ringmaster. My ringmaster is a gorilla because my stories are based in an animal kingdom. What does the ringmaster do? The ringmaster introduces the circus acts and guides the audience through the show. They direct where we have to look. Sometimes they use a microphone to make their voices loud so we can hear them. Circuses usually perform in a circus ring. That's why they're called the ringmaster. What do ringmasters wear? The ringmaster usually wears a black top hat and a red tailcoat. So who performs in the circus? Clowns! There are all sorts of clowns. Dancing clowns, clowns who juggle, and all sorts of exciting performers like acrobats and trapeze acts, musicians, and in my circus, I have a dolly called Polly. Now, there are two types of circuses. There are circuses that perform in a theatre, but there's another type of circus and they travel around and they perform in a huge tent. Do you know what this huge tent is called? It's called the Big Top. More about the Big Top in my next video. I hope you have enjoyed learning fun facts about the circus with me. Join me in my next video where we'll be doing drawing. Remember to bring your paper and some colours so we can draw together. I'll see you soon. Bye!